In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, beloved, living the word community. Today, we honor St. Paul. Born in Tarsus, Cilicia, Paul was originally named Saul and was a zealous Pharisee. After a transformative encounter with Christ on the road to Damascus, he became a passionate apostle of the gospel. Renowned for his missionary journeys, he spread Christianity throughout the Roman Empire and wrote letters that form a significant part of the New Testament. As a dedicated evangelist, his teachings emphasized faith in Christ and love in action. Paul's martyrdom in Rome under Emperor Nero solidified his legacy as a pillar of the early church. His feast day is celebrated on June 29th. St. Paul's life exemplifies transformation, faith, and unwavering devotion to spreading the gospel. St. Paul, originally named Saul, was born in Tarsus, a city in Cilicia, modern-day Turkey. He was a Roman citizen by birth, a privilege that provided him certain legal protections and status within the Roman Empire, Acts 22 verse 28. Raised as a Pharisee, he was deeply committed to the Jewish law and traditions. He studied under Gamaliel, a respected teacher of the law in Jerusalem, Acts 22 verse 3, and was zealous in his religious practices. Before his conversion, Saul was an ardent persecutor of Christians. He saw the nascent Christian movement as a threat to Jewish orthodoxy and actively worked to suppress it. He was present at the stoning of St. Stephen, the first Christian martyr, and approved of his execution. The pivotal moment in Saul's life came on the road to Damascus. While traveling to arrest Christians, he experienced a profound vision of the risen Christ. A bright light from heaven suddenly surrounded him and he fell to the ground, hearing a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Acts 9 verse 4. Blind for three days following this encounter, he was led into Damascus, where Ananias, a disciple, restored his sight. Saul was baptized, taking the name Paul, and began preaching about Jesus as the Messiah. Acts 9 verses 17 to 20. St. Paul's missionary journeys were crucial in spreading Christianity beyond Jewish communities to Gentiles across the Roman Empire. He established several churches in Asia Minor, Greece, and Rome. His epistles, letters, to these early Christian communities are a significant portion of the New Testament, including theological expositions and practical guidance on Christian living. Notable letters include Romans, Corinthians, Galatians, and Ephesians. Paul's writings profoundly shaped Christian theology, particularly regarding the relationship between faith and works, the nature of Christ, and the role of the church. He emphasized salvation by faith in Jesus Christ, which should be expressed through love and good works, Galatians 5 verse 6, Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 10. His teachings stressed the importance of love and unity within the Christian community, 1 Corinthians 13. Tradition holds that St. Paul was martyred in Rome under Emperor Nero, likely by beheading, a fate deemed suitable for a Roman citizen. His martyrdom is commemorated on June 29, shared with St. Peter, known as the Feast of Saints Peter and Paul. St. Paul is the patron saint of missionaries, evangelists, writers, and public workers, reflecting his tireless efforts in spreading the gospel and his extensive contributions to Christian literature. St. Paul's life and work continue to inspire Christians worldwide, reflecting the transformative power of faith and the enduring impact of his teachings on the church. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O glorious St. Paul, Apostle of the Gentiles, who zealously spread the gospel of Christ, inspire us to live our faith with courage and conviction. Help us to embrace the transformative power of Christ's love and to be instruments of his peace. Guide us in our journey of faith that we may reflect Christ in our actions and words. Amen. St. Paul, pray for us.